Comic hype, comic hype, comic hype, comic hype, comic hype. Gang, let's do a comic book haul. I'm gonna smoke my cigar while we do this haul as a tribute to Jack Kirby. Okay, as a tribute to Jack Kirby. Gang, let me show you this. Let me show you one thing first. Okay, check this out. Now, this is one of, on the more expensive side that we got. Okay, actually, I'll show you what, I, what we got first, and then I'll give you the price, and then we'll take a look at each page. All right. Well, I gotta tell you the price. I always tell you the price. Check this out. Uh, I'm gonna show you what the price was, right? So this is the US dollars, right? And I'll give, I'm gonna give you a little heads up regarding eBay, right? So we paid, where is it? $275 US, this whole thing came out to us, 27 items. Shipping was $26 US, right? And GST and taxes, that G, that's GST and HST or taxes in Canada, came out to 15, 15. So total 316, uh, 39, us right 316 dollars us okay and that comes out to 420 dollars canadian or something like this okay now check this out this was what the payment was when i went to ebay to do checkout right this is the email that ebay sent me okay to make the payment right now the total, the soft total is the same, sixteen thirty-two. The the comic book, uh, the not the comic, the the buy cost two hundred and seventy-five dollars, which it does. The shipping was twenty-six dollars, and then the tax was thirteen percent at thirty-nine dollars. I was like, what? Why is there so much tax? I'm, you know, I know I'm going to get dinged for tax, but why is there so much tax? Because they it looks like they charged because and they charge tax on shipping as well which is fucking insane right but they ch uh, it looks like they charge gst and pst and stuff like this right so i went wait a second now if you know a little bit of mathematics like just a little bit of mathematics if you add up these three numbers 275 275 26 dollars and 39 dollars it's not 316 dollars right it comes out to let me do it here what if, what does it come out to 275 plus 16 plus 39 is the wind too much gang should i put the little thing up? it comes out 230 dollars right so she don't need money she don't need money platonic forces world economic forum needs money right so this thing comes out if you do that total it comes out to 330 dollars so there was uh, like one of the reasons i'm pointing this out this out is math robbery <laughs> math robbery one of the things i'm point one of the reasons i'm pointing this out is is people have faith in centralized systems please don't put your faith in these centralized systems or any emails or any any invoice or anything you get from these institutions because you have to appreciate that there's people just programming this stuff in if they want to mess you up they just change the algorithm a little bit right you shouldn't trust them with your data you shouldn't trust them with your finances you shouldn't trust them for anything right you, they're just a tool you're using to get what you want and do what you need to do don't take anything they sent you at face value okay so the total for this haul was 316 dollars us Elder got converted it to pounds. It's 255 pounds, British pounds. Okay. And 400, let's say $20, $430 Canadian. Okay. Uh, Elder got putting your faith in an institution is like so, social suicide. It's like, forget the social aspect, it's suicide. Suicide. Now, check this out. This is what we got. For that price, we bought 27 original art pieces from two different series that Image Comics put out. Ended up costing 
I bought the pieces for $10 each. Art, yeah, yeah, original pages. Right? I hope it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. Like, it, I'm 99.99% sure this is what we got. All right? There, uh, there are 26 original pieces from Image Comics. <laughs> no, no bad man, Elder God. It's Image Comics. I could <laughs> Oh well, I'll I'll keep my eyes out. I'll keep my eyes uh, my eyes open, right? Uh, and one of the pieces is a sketch uh, by an artist, and I'm going to tell you who these people are. Okay. So, check this out. And we're going to smoke a cigar doing this whole thing. <laughs> I know you had that. I was thinking about it. I knew you were going to ask. If I ever get a Batman original art piece, Elder God, uh, I'm going to surprise the crap out of you <laughs> on a live stream. <laughs> Birdie here says I put my faith in Tesla autopilot. <laughs> and, that, and that the battery won't explode. And it won't cost you by, by the time you have to replace it. Right now, by the time you have to replace it, it's like 15, 20 grand. And it won't cost you like 50 grand by the time you need to replace it. Mm hmm. Plutonic Pluris, the movie, The Net with uh, Sandra Bullock uh, is a good movie, yeah. I want to make sure I don't damage this. This is what happens when you smoke a cigar on a windy day, the ash comes off. Okay. okay, there's no art there. I just want to crack that open, take a look in, just to make sure there's no art there. He's got uh, good protection. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Serious packaging job. <laughs> oh my god, I want to take this fun art piece. I don't have, I don't have. This is, these are recent, modern, well, recent uh, comic book pages. Like the guys, like, and the person uh, put signature verification on this as well. Right. There we go. Okay. Nice. from a really tight location.
look at this. <laughs> it's still packed up here. Let's get rid of these sticky tape stuff because we don't want it to snag anything. Yeah, bar face. I, I, I guess I'd rather have some delicate overpack than under. Yeah, 100%. Evil X, how are you doing? Shop, look at this and then again taped up on this side inside right right nice Seven pages should be. Okay. Oof. We need to have a little, <laughs> little strawberry strudel. <laughs> recycling Greta Thunberg. Yeah, Ber a birdie here. Birdie says, "Quote: Recycling all the packaging. Recycling and elder uh, saying um, Greta Thunberg. Yes, Greta, we will be. We're gonna." use this cardboard to package up our yearly twitch auction points and uh, send out some packages nice oh and the sketches here nice where's the lid for this there it is Almost there, and we are. <laughs> Snap. Nice, nice, nice. Should I give you a little peek? Should I give you a little peek? Look, look. show you this first Kaz Kazexel hello how are you doing doing good I'm hoping you're doing well I'm doing fantastic salute and welcome to our live stream Sweet. take a look let me show you this one first this one was the most expensive. Everything else was $10 US, $9.99 US. This one is from the artist. Okay, let me pronounce his name. He's a Vietnamese artist. Okay. Or a Vietnamese born American artist. Okay. Kohoi Pham is Legion original piece. And let me show his picture. I forgot to put the, the names on. This is the artist. Okay. Original sketch piece, Legion. And he, he's done a lot of work from 2007. Oop. Where is it? That's his signature. Okay. And he's done a lot of work 
uh, for Marvel, this artist. Okay, so this one came out to like fifteen fifty, I believe. Great price, great price. Okay, and Legion, uh, fantastic character. As far as uh, comic book adaptations, uh, TV adaptations, Legion uh, series, comic book series. Uh, I forget who put it out. It might have been Netflix. I'm not so sure. Was phenomenal. Was phenomenal. Awesome. 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 I'm going to put this back in the protective casing. And then we're going to bring out these guys. So I don't think these guys are going to be in order. Are they in order? Okay. How am I going to do this? <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this one over here. Because we don't want to hurt that one. And I need to put these into something. Hmm. Okay, I got to set myself up here. So I'm going to do... Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Hold on a second, gang. I'm going to do a little bit of rearranging here. I'm going to bring his picture down. These things are great. I'm gonna take these. Put them over here. That's our cognac and, and dessert. And I'm gonna lay out this thing. So we put the, the art in this. Okay. So, okay, let's do these one at a time. Cause I loaded up the original, the pages that appear in the comic itself, colored what they look like, right? I don't know if these are in order. Let me see. Uh, these, uh, no, there's another page. Oh, okay, let me pull out all of these because I wanna show them to you in order. So that's the Legion one. I'm just gonna put this one here. I'm looking for page 28. Let's check it out. Oh, there it is, nice. Okay, that's page 28. Excellent, excellent. These two pages are signed by the person. Check it out. So this is, this artist is, uh, let me read his name. He's a Canadian artist. Both of these are Canadian artists. Um, and his name is, uh, I should have, I'm gonna copy his name in, uh, in the chat both on twitch and on this is the artist's name you guys tell me how you pronounce that i don't know how i pronounce that uh the jibril moraset fan fan jibril moraset fan oh i gotta bring out the rumble chat too i'm gonna post that on rumble chat as well right so here is this is the artist Doop, this guy okay this is for glitter bomb number one so that's the cover i have this 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 issue right i don't know if i collected all four it's a four issue mini series okay so this is the cover for glitter bomb number one and we got 
page. Okay, I'm gonna take the artist's picture down. Okay. 28. Okay, this is whoop, whoop. fantastic. <laughs> oh, fan, fantastic. Ah, okay. Mona set fan, right? So this is page 28, and this is what page 28 looks like when it's colored and uh, the words are on there as well, right? You did not just say that. Did you? Did you? Is that did you? It's really small, so it's hard to read, right? So that's page 28, okay, of Glitter Bomb number one. Very cool, very cool, very cool, very cool. Awesome, right? Awesome. And then we have page. 29 and here's whoop, and hey come on and here's page 29 okay and these two looks like he's got a signature on there right I want to move the water back <laughs> so we don't get an accidental spill right and I need to light the cigar because we got to do Jack Kirby tribute right so fantastic right very nice very nice very nice very nice okay let's see what do i have queued up glitter bomb number four check this out we got art from glitter bomb number four okay that's page 11 as i say page six page 10 that's sheltered oh they're not all together i gotta crack open the other one too man <laughs> they're not <laughs> oh the bugger if I cracked open the the case or the package earlier, I would have um, put it all in order, right? But these guys didn't ship it to me in order, so I'm gonna do a little bit of pause while I sort these guys out. And I gotta go into this one. I gotta go into this one. So let me take these guys down. Uh, Jibri Morissette Fan is a Montreal comic book illustrator. He began his career in 2014 after com completing his studies in cartooning. Mainly active in the American community, he has notably worked on titles such as All New Wolverine, X-Men, Gold, and Star-Lord of Marvel. Okay. Thank you, Elder God. Very nice. Okay. So, hopefully, maybe that's all the grill glitter bombs. I'm not sure. Mods need more than 500. Yeah, they do. Adramas, how are you doing? So, this is glitter bomb. Okay, let me put these guys in order. Twelve. I don't know why page six is so far. Yeah, page six. Eleven. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Eight. And 
let's see what this one is. This is Glitter Bomb. Number four. Okay. And again, the artist is this guy. Boink. Right? Glitter Bomb number four. A nice cover. I, I can't. I don't. I think I have this. I'm pretty sure I have this. Because this cover, when I looked at it. Uh, Cheryl, how are you doing? When I looked at it, uh, it looked very familiar. Right? Yeah, Cheryl, we're doing the comic book haul. Ready for this? Ready for this? Um, here's that's the cover for number four. That's that one. I'm supposed to have page eight. There it is. So what's this page six? It's not page six. That's wrong. Page eight, right? Oh, I gotta be on this side. The cover reminds me of some uh, Gaga. Uh, might wear on the red carpet haha <laughs> yeah and uh, this thing is uh, glitter bomb is very hot it's about Hollywood and stuff right I'm gonna take the artist uh, pick down again okay so that's glitter bomb page um, page 8 glitter bomb number 4 page 8 fantastic fantastic right Cheryl picked up these pieces for ten dollars each. Twenty-seventh original art pieces. Oh, I gotta do. Oh yeah, I'll just put it back here. This one. Oh, this is sheltered. That's why it's not glitter bomb. Sh uh, glitter bomb yeah 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 crazy deal crazy deal glitter bomb page uh number four page 10 okay is glitter bomb valley of the dolls valley of the dolls um it, it's a horror uh, uh cheryl it's a horror comic it's uh it's like uh Hollywood and the manga Parasite. Right. Right. Number 10. Beautiful artwork, by the way. And these, these two artists are new to the scene, right? So... Um, new artist even ten dollars is crazy ridiculous price this is page 11 okay this is page 11 fantastic like if they if these artists are coming to a convention near me i'm going to take these pages and get them signed artwork I like keeping the page up uh, that's colored um, yeah gang very nice Did these he did the hair with a check out the hair on the girls uh, the girl let's see if I'll focus right he's using different type of like a brush felt to do it oh that's the write up for this character glitter bomb yeah I'm gonna read it. Cool. Cool. Uh, Farah Doranti is a middle aged actress hunting for her next gig in an industry where youth uh, trumps experience. Her frustrations become an emotional lure for something horrifying out beyond the water. 
something ready to exact revenge on the shallow celebrity obsessed culture that's led her astray this is glitter bomb number 12 page 12 so we've got a sequence of pages here right glitter bond number 12 or oh, isn't issue number four page 12 right nice this one was actually my the least favorite page of mine there's some pages that really stood out I really like the the panel work of the faces speaking I really like that style. Here's page 13. Okay. Of Glitter Bomb. And they put, usually, they should have the name up there Glitter Bomb issue number and page number. Uh, some of the other ones don't. Okay. This is page 13. Very cool, very cool. nice nice let me sort these guys out so those are uh, all the ones we got from glitter bomb okay let me put these in a and keep them in order are these in order now uh, oh I'm gonna pay take page 13 put it in order and we'll put it with the sketch of oops with the sketch of uh, Legion right by the beautiful cover Here. Mm, actually, I'll put it backwards this one so that way we see. Close this up so we don't lose any of it. Crazy price. Conquer conquers yet. Conquers. What are conquers? Is that to me? Salute gang. We got another comic book uh, series, the art for that we're gonna take a look at now. Conquer. What's an autumn conquer? I'm gonna light the cigar. We gotta do the Jack Jack Kirby tribute. Smoking a cigar, handling comic book art. <laughs> oh, horse chestnuts. No, not yet. Or horse chestnuts or chestnuts. Um, our neighbor, not neighbors, but our friends that are like live three, four, about three, four blocks away from us. They have a big chestnut tree. That we're gonna go when they're ready to harvest them oh by the by the way cheryl um should i bring all the harvest all the green tomatoes check this out that's <laughs> the oak nuts falling down 
the tomatoes are like this there's no risk of frost right now should I leave them on the vines or should I harvest them green and put them inside and let them let them ripen we have a fair bit we usually don't have this much <laughs> what do you think Okay, I gotta put these guys in order. They're not in order. Okay. See, this one doesn't have the issue number on it, unfortunately. Ten and ten together. Oh, okay, there it is. That one does. Oh, this one does. Number one, six, ten. Nice, nice. Uh, this. Okay. This has got to be for one. Oh, that's page three. number must be in the back no it's not oh no it's not no. 10 15 19 21. this has got to be here That's why artists need to number their pages. The series number six twenty one, number six eighteen, twenty, no number, no number, seven, six, seven. Okay, we'll try our best. Some of these don't have the issue number. Uh, and no, we're not expecting frost, not yet. But the temperature's gotten cold, um, so I'm gonna keep them on the vines still. I think. Aldegas saying winter is going to be late. I recommend leaving for a bit longer. Okay, yeah, yeah. If we're not expecting frost, I'm not gonna bring them in. Uh, I think it's gonna be a brutal winter. The amount of fruit on the trees is insane. We're talking about as, as Canada is still subject to crown. It's okay. Oh, yeah, talking. Cheryl, uh, if so, you can cut a vine and drape it somewhere warm or pull individuals, but put them in a bag. Put them in a bag. Okay. Okay. We have some. We'll put them in a bag. But good idea about a vine. But I'll leave them out. Leave them until frost is imminent. Okay. Done deal, Cheryl. Okay. Gang, this one. Let's get into the next series. Let's get into the next series. This artist is another Canadian artist, and he's based in Vancouver. Okay. I'm going to post it on Rumble Chat. What doing? And I'll post it on our Twitch chat. Oh, hey, where is it? Yes, it's going to be a fucking brutal this winter. Uh, snow for weeks. I think so too, Elder God. I think so too. Johnny Christmas. Okay. Johnny Christmas. This is the... Oh, come on. <laughs> this is the artist. Okay. This is the artist. This has got to be it. So this is the artist. 
and this is sheltered number one and i have this one as well i'm pretty sure i have this yeah i have this one but i don't have some of the later issues right i think that's when i was asked not to come back uh well not to come back to the comic book store without fairing wearing a tyrannical symbol on my face right this is sheltered number one okay that's the cover this should be issue number three and it is nice nice i'm going to take the artist face down salute to original art cheers gang So, sheltered, issue number one, page three. Okay, there it is. Johnny Christmas is a number one New York Times bestseller graphic novelist and author illustrator of the critically acclaimed middle middle graphic um, grade graphic novel Twin uh, Swim Team, which was uh, long listed for the National Book Award. Was a Creta Scott King honor book for illustrator was named the Kirkus Reviews best book of 2022 and received the Jane Adams book award honor he he calls Vancouver British Columbia his home Gopli redeemed 10,000 points Gopli just a heads up you might want to hold your points thank you very much for redeeming points first of all <laughs> that, uh, I'm going to do a salute to them salute uh, you let me know we're going to do an auction in November. If you don't want me to redeem these points, I'll reject them and you can keep them for the auction. Salute. Okay. But send me a message. And if I do accidentally accept them, remind us that you redeemed 10,000 points. Elder God, I'm pretty sure one of us will remember. And uh, you can use those 10,000 points towards your auction that we're going to auction off stuff. Okay. In the name of auction. In the name of auction. check it out nice artwork he has a very nice style cool so that's page number three from issue number one okay. this one should be page number six yes nice two months tonight till auction assuming chicho is available for the expected days indeed hopefully we will be i love getting to see the black layer neat inside yeah yeah super cool eh like and this is they did this is um blue line check it out so you got the blue lines there rough rough layout the pencils is done and the inks is on top so this is three layers of art done and then these are scanned i believe the blue the word balloons are well these are going to be put in digitally the word balloons now all of these are digital otherwise the word balloons would have been on the pages as well okay so these are scanned sent to whoever's going to do the coloring and the words the text and they put them on there right so this is the actual proof this is the actual art this is the actual art okay this is like proof would be after it's been scanned but this is the actual art like the artist sitting there doo -doo 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 -doo, doing their thing right nice these are the actual pages right crazy deal crazy deal this should be page 10 let me check it out Oh, where's page seven? We gotta pay find page seven. We gotta go in order. Okay, I'm gonna bring up page seven because I gotta find it. It's not numbered properly. Oh, there it is. Oh, he did put the issue number on there. There it is. 
See, check out the issue number, the way he put it on there. He put it like this. In blue, uh, you'll barely be able to see it, right? Check it out. That's sheltered. Issue number one. That's a one there. Very hard to see. Where is it? There it is. One and then page seven. Okay. Furry Freak Brothers were awesome. I have some of the originals. Furry Freak Brothers rocks. I hope they don't put words in their mouths. <laughs> right. Cheryl, with all this winter talk, I, I better get uh, decent snow this year or I'm going to lose it. <laughs> Hilarious. Nice art. Yeah, goose feathers is amazing. Dao. I think it's called Dao. This is really nice. Beautifully done. This should be page 10. Let's check it out. Yep. Nice. Here's page 10. Robert, Roger Crumb did good cartoons uh, with the Stone Ages. It's Robert Crumb. I'm pretty sure it's Robert Crumb, Hyper Dope. Cheryl, but I had five, uh, five degrees Celsius. F camping Friday into Saturday. It was a bit of jump into the deep end, but you know, have wool cap, will travel indeed. We were at the beach yesterday, actually, at a, at, a, at a DJ show, music show. Nice. Aliga Chicho. Yes, this is his name. Jacket cost uh, D300. Dow. D300, okay. This is cool. This should be, oh, this isn't that. Okay, so this is another. See, this one doesn't have a, the issue number. He just put page 18, so I gotta check it out. And then we're into, um, we're into uh, sheltered number four. This is the cover for it, okay. That's the cover, and the artist again is Johnny Christmas. This guy, okay, Vancouver Canadian based artist. Okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> I thought about going and getting them and showing you what the pages look like, and the, but I decided to do this. I because I have uh, some of these, the original uh, first few issues, they're in boxes somewhere, right. So this is page number six. Oops, come on. Yeah, this is it, page number six. Issue number four, page number six. Right. It, it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. Okay. I read one of the issues when it first came out, but I barely remembered it. But then I had a little recap of sort of what this is all about to a certain degree right uh, when I was digging up these pages nice work in a page let me check we need 
page seven. Where's page seven? Okay, I gotta bring up the page to be able to find it. We do have page seven. Oh, I saw that. Where is it? There it is. Nice. These look good. This is a nice page. Lots of detail in the top panel, right? So this is page seven, issue number four of Sheltered, right? Nice. Nice. We'll do a close-up look. Let's see. work yeah elder god they're uh, the black and white they're actually uh, for some of the some of the artists they put out just the artist renditions the just the black and white pages uh, for a lot of artists they've done it for Barry Windsor Smith they've done it for uh, some of the some of the great artists they're like thick books of just original just uh, uh pencils and inks of just a black and white before anything else but um, the bubbles are there too i believe the bubbles are there too okay let me see oh we're into issue number six. Oh, okay so that doesn't belong there And then the next one is, um, this is the issue number six. We got art from issue number six. This is the cover of issue number six. Okay, again, the artist. Got to give respect to the artist. Johnny Christmas. Okay. For sheltered number six. That's the cover. And let me take his pick down again. Boink. This is page 18. Page There's even some uh, white out here. Okay. And gang, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified. Page 19. For trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we, humanity, desperately needs in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or countless countless resources available on free speech platforms cool now he's got numbers on the back of these oops where is it there it is 150 on this and then 80 on another one so i'm thinking maybe these were the prices that he had on them i'm not 100 sure or there's something else i don't know page 21 from issue number six okay
focused. We're into issue number seven. This is a great cover. I don't think I have this. I would have remembered this cover. This is a great cover. I really like this cover. Elder God, I'm building my channel points like a man <laughs> possessed. <laughs> so issue number seven, um, sheltered. Okay. And this is page number one. Right? Great. Page number one. Awesome. Nice comparison. Uh, they're um, they're heavier comic book boards. These are uh, Cheryl. Like you can buy these. These are specifically comic book size, uh, comic book paper. They have the boundary set in. Uh, you know if you're gonna do bleed or not you love having both up yeah yeah I had to do it I had to do it this way because it gives you amazing comparison right. fantastic Plutonic florist before the auction I will convert my points to Turkish lira you won't be able to win anything <laughs> right. nice artwork nice artwork right. oh okay this is so we only got one page from issue number uh, 10 oh we need 12 and then we got pages from issue number 10 okay or sorry we got only one page from issue number seven we got a few pages some pages from issue number 10 this is the cover of issue number 10 and the artist again is johnny christmas right How do you use numbers? Platonic Flores says. So I have a ch uh, challenge in my inkbot list to do a comic panel using the prompts. So this is helpful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And this is page number. Oh, we're gonna find page number twelve. That's page number twelve. Okay, hold on a second. Let me page find page number twelve. It's a nice page. This one. Where is it? That's not it. 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 Hey, where's page number 12? I saw this. Oh, there it is. Nice. This is a great page. Nice page. What do you see? I was a number in the back. See, I don't know. I don't think these are the prices in the back. Because this is a fantastic page. This is uh, page number 12 from sheltered number 10. Okay. Yeah, great colors on that cover. Check it out. I love this guys just looking at the page looking out from the page right looking at you directly 
the reader. I think that's great. Looking at the camera, I guess. Fantastic. Nice pick, nice pick. Nice scene, nice panel. So that's number 12. Let's see if we got number 13 here. This is number 13. Okay. Sheltered number 10, page number 13. Now that I have this artwork, I hope they make a TV series out of this series. <laughs> Hilarious. Nice, nice, nice art. Detail galore. Like just... The Wait, hold on, let's see if we can focus this. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful, right? Nice panel, nice panel. This, oh, this is, oh, what's this? With the wrong page number on this. Let's see if this is it. Yeah, that's it. He's numbered this page 15 but when I was looking it up it seems to be page 17 okay so I don't know if this was just misnumbered or it was wrong online or what right Col collection yeah as far as I'm concerned the collection is a commodity right now this is an investment as far as I see it right $10 a pop what the F? It's beautiful. If, if we had a large space where we had lots of walls, which we don't in this house, I'd frame some of these and uh, put them up. I'd have the original comic sitting on the coffee table so people could read it. That's my ideal, like, having a because when I used to t when I used to teach have a space where kids could come and study uh, I had a one day set a week where it was a drop in tutoring people would just come in study I had comic books laid out where they could just take a break and read a comic book right. create an artistic space for for people to learn right amazing hi from France Zer Zerilif 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 Salute Salutations to our French brothers and sisters Welcome to our live stream The Olive How are you doing? This should be page 19 This is page 19 Issue number 10 Of Sheltered Right Salut, but salut a toi. Thank you. All I got popping around to Chicho for coffee and comics is my bucket list. Awesome. Beautiful artwork, really. Evening, Olive. Nice. 
this is a great panel this the neck okay this is not page number 21 uh, this is one before the last page I believe okay this is page number 21 the next couple pages in this issue is pretty heavy this is pretty heavy okay and it was beautifully portrayed artwork it was beautifully portrayed this is pretty phenomenal pretty cool I won't give any spoilers lonely piggy how are you doing yo glad to have caught another stream hope everyone's doing great doing fantastic lonely piggy lonely piggy I picked up some original art pieces a couple of image comics from a couple of image comics this is from sheltered issue number 10 page 21 I picked up 20 26 original art pages for ten dollars each US and one sketch for 1550 and we're just looking at them I can see that good deals to be had great deals to be had amazing deals to be had right amazing deals to be had and uh, amazing uh, addition to the collection right crack right Smacked her knee, maybe. Pulled her knee down. She fell down. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Can I draw stuff like this? No, Olive. I can't. Maybe someone here can. Okay, this is a different issue. Okay. We got... This is the last issue that we got pages for okay I'm only picky I'll message you on rumble soon Chicho I want to send you a little something that, oh thank you very much uh, uh, lonely piggy for uh, uh, for that uh, for thinking about it and you reminded me to bring up the rumble chat gang sorry if I missed the rumble chat Gillette Romulus how are you doing howdy y'all he says Plutonic Plurus is on there and Hostile Hedgy. Okay, next issue that we got uh, pages for is issue number 15. I believe this is the last issue of the series, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so this is the last issue of the series. Are they uh, ink artists or are they uh, in the industry? Are, are they ink artists or are they in the industry? Uh, this is pencils and inks by the same artist by uh johnny christmas if that's what you're asking cheryl oh that was for okay okay but again this is johnny christmas doing the artwork that we're about to see for uh pages for issue number 15 of sheltered Oop. lonely piggy i make uh, gilded <laughs> derp on my hand what it helped you awesome oh i gotta bring it back again hold on hold on Wait because when I do it on when I'm clicking on the OBS it, the uh, the what do you call it uh, the rumble chat disappears just made some super dank tuna salad nice Romulus nice so this is issue number 18 oh I gotta bring it up I got the wrong one here where is my issue number 18 Oh man, I had it here. Where is it? There it is. I really like this uh, this page. I really like this page. It's got a calm quietness to it. This is page number eighteen. War Zone Brooks, how are you doing? Phenomenal artwork. Punisher Max, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Right. I really like this page. I think it's a phenomenal page. Right. Quiet, cool. Quiet, cool. Let's go from the top down. 
If you guys can read, I can't read the the text. It's too small for me right now. Calm, quiet, and then panel four, smash. And I like the the look on the girl's face. The eyes. It's just, man. You see someone's face like that in a bar. You're like, oh fuck. There's some darkness there. Super sharp, super sharp. The lonely piggy. By the way, Canadian artist. We got art from two different artists, three different artists. One of them is um, Vietnamese American, U.S., and two of them were Canadian artists or are Canadian artists. Right. Smash. Very nice. I don't think you go Canada. Go. And then we got page, this should be page 19, page 19. Okay. Page 19. Choo choo, honk honk. And gang, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, the publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available on free speech platforms. Here's page 20. Uh, Warzone Brooks, do you think our masters will succeed in converting the world to a capital global currency? If they do, it's only going to be for a short while, hold out. And the only reason they will is because people will comply. And if those that comply with tyranny, uh, well, you know who your enemy is, right? Anybody that still complies with tyranny is pretty low IQ, man. Pretty low IQ. Beautiful. And this is the last page that we have. Page 21. And just from this artwork that I saw I really like this character this girl I'm I don't know I, I can't remember her if I read it this is page 21 issue number 15 great character dark 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 so heavy so much heaviness to her and the artwork just shows it right just a heavy Yeah, cash uses, Elder God says, cash usage is up again. If, uh, and I can honestly tell you, gang, if they go full on digital currency and they prevent people from uh, accessing cash, uh, if they don't comply with tyranny, I will do a general strike. I will send a message to the school, to my students, and say that I refuse to teach them unless. Uh, they are willing to do uh, outside of tyrannical system business okay gang fantastic artwork fantastic artwork cash 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 indeed I'm gonna take these down and again we got art from three different artists original art that's a beautiful cover. Oops, where'd it go? Beautiful cover. I really like this cover. Man, I pay more than ten bucks for that. We pay a lot more than ten bucks for that. Right? Hey, come on. Come on. Come on.
very nice. I'm gonna put these in the cover, in the in the sleeve, so they're protected. Okay, I don't know if I can fit them all in this. It might be too thick. I might have to put some in the other one, but we'll see. side I'm gonna take some out I'm gonna take issue number 15 out I'm gonna put it in the other one issue number 10 let me make sure it starts from there So they're not, mm -hmm. there isn't too much pressure on them. Yeah. Let's take a look. A little bit rub, rubs off here. That was like that before, but. And then I'm gonna put it into this one. And this is from the other artist, right? And this is the sketch we got. All right, Legion. And I'm gonna put this one like this, so we see it, so we know it's different. And I'll put a little note on these later to know what's in here. And I do have a portfolio uh, for original art. I might have to get another one because these, these all won't fit in there. I do wanna protect these. Right. I'll probably treat these better than most, uh, most people. I treat my collection better than most people that I've known, right? Uh, collectors, anyway. Nice. Fantastic collection. And just a reminder, just because they sent you an invoice, check uh, the info, right? This was the invoice, uh, how much they cost, all this, $316 US right when i paid it but the email that sent me the total was the same but the shipping the taxes was over taxed or something so it was all a error that's how reliable centralized institutions are right these programs ain't working too well right fantastic comic book haul gang very happy about these um, initially i was a little worried i was like wow why am i getting these so cheap and it was just no one was bidding right they're not hot so people aren't bidding on it and it means you can get amazing deals you can get amazing deals fantastic fantastic and thank you to the artists for creating such amazing artwork salute gang